hi friends in this video i am going to discuss about the measurement of pressure so it is also another type of physical quantity which we can measure using the electrical quantities like voltage and current so any type of physical quantity we have seen so far in uh, force displacement and proximity and various measurements all these are can be measured in terms of electrical quantities like voltage or current by taking the variations of resistance capacitance or inductance in the similar way the same method can also be used here for the measurement of pressure see whenever we are applying some pressure on this uh, in the figure it is given some animation so when we are applying some pressure on this one what happens the corresponding need is shows and goes to the maximum value whenever we release the corresponding pressure slowly it goes to the minimum position so that means whenever we are applying some pressure on any device it gives some maximum resistance in that particular device depending upon the type of instrument whether it is a resistance measurement or capacitive measurement or inductance type of measurement that particular device may be increased or decreased depends on the type of nature we have used there so that the corresponding pressure can be calculated in the proportional um, electrical quantity so a pressure transducer before going into the measurement let us see some concept related to pressure what do you mean by pressure and how to measure the pressure so a pressure transducer often called a pressure transmitter is a transducer that converts pressure into an analog electrical signal so here we are calculating the pressure so we are calculating the pressure in terms of electrical signal in terms of an electrical signal so analog signal we are taking an analog signal which is a continuous variation not a DC signal it's an analog signal okay so pressure can be calculated in terms of electrical signal although there are various types of pressure transducers we have several pressure transducer piezo electric transducers are there capacitive pressure transducers are there resistive pressure transducers are there and even strain gauges are also there all these are different types of pressure transducer so when we are applying some pressure on them they will give some uh, strain or uh, whatever may be the resultant factor that can be calculated in terms of any electrical quantities so pressure is defined as force per unit area so whatever may be the result whatever may be the method we are using pressure can be simply defined as the force upon area force upon area or force per unit area so force f p is equal to f by a p is equal to f by a so we can say f p is equal to force by area per unit area so the sa units here here the units are uh, somewhat uh, important also to remember because several types of units are also there uh, simply in the normal conventional way we use pressure for SA units, we simply say it as Pascal. For SA units, we simply say it as Pascal. So, SA units for this pressure is Pascal. Okay. So, which can also be say is written as Newtons per meter square. Because force units are Newtons and the area is nothing but meter square. So, it is simply, we can also write it as Newtons per meter square. Or in terms of pressure, we will write it as Pascal okay but other common units of pressure include pounds per square inch pounds per square inch so PSI stands for pounds per square inch these are different types of pressure units atmosphere ATM atmosphere ATM bars inches of mercury bars inches of mercury nothing but HG so we can write it as hg and millimeter of mercury mmhg and tor so these are the different measurement the different types of units that we can uh, use for the measure for uh, displaying this pressure so most commonly we go with the pascal or uh, pounds per square inch so pressure measurement methods so i told you different uh, several methods are there in the pressure measurement let us see what are they 
एब्सल्यूट प्रेजर मेजरमेंट गेज प्रेजर मेजरमेंट डिफरेंशियल प्रेजर मेजरमेंट सो दीज आर द्री मेथड थ्री मेन मेथड वी यूज टू मेजर दि प्रेजर एनी वेर इन द प्रोडक्ट एनी वेर इन इंडस्ट्री सो दे आर एब्सल्यूट प्रेजर मेजरमेंट गेज प्रेजर मेजरमेंट डिफरेंशियल प्रेजर मेजरमेंट so let us see one by one what do you mean by absolute pressure gauge pressure and differential pressure again differential pressures we have several types of uh, uh, classifications over there in the differential pressure measurement i will tell when this topic comes so absolute pressure measurement is nothing but the absolute measurement method is uh, relative to zero pascal the static pressure in a vacuum so what do you say absolute pressure is nothing but static pressure static pressure what is the constant pressure in the vacuum when there is no air when there is no air in the in the atmosphere when there is no air and nothing is there what is the amount of present in present over there so that is simply zero pascal so the pressure being measured is acted upon by atmosphere pressure in condition in addition to the pressure therefore absolute pressure measurement includes the effect of atmospheric pressure this type of measurement is well suited for atmospheric pressures such as those used in altimeters or vacuum pressures so whenever we are measuring some height in height measurement devices altimeter is nothing but altitude measurement device so in such altimeters and vacuum pressures uh, this type of uh, atmospheric pressure measurements can be taken so in such cases we generally go with the absolute pressure measurement where there is no other type of measurement especially we go with the uh, pressure often the abbreviations pa pascals absolute or psia pounds per square inch absolute are used to describe this absolute pressure <coughs> in the basic nature we know uh, suppose in the uh, basically the pascal basically pressure can be measured in pascal okay pascal but here absolute pressure absolute pressure is a unit it has units pa pa means a pascals absolute pascals absolute so when you see this pa you can say that that is an absolute pressure that is the main indication why it is given a separate unit okay or else you can also give normally pressure can be uh, represented in psi so what is psi pounds per square inch pounds per square inch so if we add psi a then it becomes pounds per square inch absolute so this a refers to absolute pressure that pressure suppose some value will be given with psi a so by seeing this value we can say that this particular value belongs to the absolute pressure so these are the two units that represents the absolute pressure measurement second type of pressure measurement is a gauge pressure measurement so in the gauge pressure measurement gauge pressure is measure measured related to ambient atmospheric pressure nothing but room temperature this means that both the reference and the pressure of interest are acted upon the atmospheric pressures so here we are completely working with the room temperature ambient temperature is nothing but your room temperature wherever we are working with the device or instrument at that particular uh, that particular temperature only you are going to measure this gauge pressure so whatever the present measurement you are doing in the room atmosphere In the ambient temperature at that particular uh, environment, it is known as gauge pressure measurement. Therefore, gauge pressure measurement excludes the effects of atmospheric pressure. These types of measurements include the tire pressure and blood pressure measurement. So, such type of uh, uh, what uh, tire we have some uh, pressure inside the tires. and blood pressure in the human beings in such cases we uh, call that pressure measurement in the gauge pressure similar to absolute pressure the abbreviations to pag abbreviations for this gauge pressure we have seen in the previous case pa pascals absolute now it is pag now it is pag simply pag is nothing but 
what is PAG Pascal's gauge PAG is nothing but Pascal's gauge now G comes along with the PA and similarly PSIG so PSIG is nothing but pounds per square inch gauge pounds per square inch gauge very simple if you know the basic uh, notations so then just adding a and g a becomes absolute g becomes gauge like that pounds per square inch and gauge so are used to describe the gauge pressure and the third type of pressure measurement is a differential pressure measurement so differential pressure is similar to gauge pressure however the reference is another pressure point in the system rather than ambient atmospheric pressure okay so by seeing the name you can easily understand differential differential is nothing but definitely some two pressure measurements are there one is the reference point and another one is the pressure of our interest whatever we are calculating okay so here see here it is very easy differential pressure measurement takes two pressures two pressures like p1 and p2 where p1 is a known or simply we can say a reference and p2 is nothing but unknown or some whatever the pressure we are going to measure so unknown pressure okay so the difference between these two gives uh, the unknown quantity with that we can measure so differential pressure is a similar to gain pressure however the reference is another pressure point in the system rather than the ambient atmospheric pressure so if we take the uh, reference point from the ambient atmospheric pressure then it it is known as that type of measurement is known as gauge pressure measurement but if we take uh, the pressure uh, reference point rather than the ambient atmospheric pressure then it comes under a differential pressure you can use this method to maintain relative pressure between two vessels such as compressor tank and an associated feed line also the abbreviations now suppose if we are having some uh, value what type of uh, units we can give for this differential pressure measurement pad pa is nothing but previously pascal's absolute PAG we have seen Pascal's gauge and now it is PAD Pascal's differential D for differential that is, describes that it is a differential pressure measurement and PSID pounds per square inch differential are used to describe the differential pressure. So very easy units remembering, uh, remembering these units are very easy okay so there are several types of these pre differential pressure measurements so we will see uh, i will explain those different types of this differential pressure measurement in the next video thank you